Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm getting ready to start on my own truck. 03 Dodge, uh, cab corners, rocker panels, except uh, it's not going to do as nice a job as I did on that uh, Silver 2012. Um, this is going to be hack and pack style. So let's have a look inside the doors here. Um, yeah, rod it out. And yeah, rod it out. Now the bonus of this body style, this older body style, this is an 03, is that the doors here uh, come all the way down to here. So uh, the under, there's no fancy underline or anything. So basically it's uh, just cut out the rusty bits, trim this edge here to get around the door posts and cut it off where you need it and put it in so I'm gonna work on that and uh, bring you along okay so it's kind of estimating stuff here it's about eight and a half inches till you bottom out of the radius on the sill and come back into this area um, just kind of ballpark it you fit it up the way it fits after leave some gaps it all fills in so there's eight and a half inches. Gonna mark that on the panel and then uh, cut it out. Okay, guys. Uh, I drew a line there on the rocker. Uh, there's the rotted out bit. I hope the sun's not fucking that up. And up here, this appears to be in pretty, uh, pretty decent condition here. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna grind that back and verify that it is in good condition. I believe it is. So, ground this little spot back where I'd put that mark line on. Oh, metal looks like it's good under there. The blisters aren't like pushing through. So I think this is solid from here forward. Um, so I'm gonna take a measurement from the back of the door here being closed up to there. And this will be my approximate because this is where the stop point is. Um, doesn't matter if it's like here or if it's there and yeah, it's gonna be all good but uh, that's gonna be the starting point back there work my way forward with my measurements and trim out the lip here go around the door posts and then uh, I'll bring you back okay just finished showing you I got this where I want it now I'm gonna take a couple of uh, sheet metal screws you guys can see there you go a couple of sheet metal screws and drive them in maybe like here here and here just to hold things into position and these will be reference points for uh later on so yeah i'm gonna keep them up a little higher i think keep them up here and up here and they're 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 permanent reference points once you shoot these screws in so if you got things clamped in place like i have now this is where it's gonna go shoot your screws in they're permanent reference points unless you cut them out okay so yeah i like the ones with the uh the driver head on them you just put it in the gun um, you can you can take these in and out as many times as you have to to get the job done and uh, ah shit it fell out and I lost it a magnetic tip would be nice uh, yeah you can drive these in and out as many times as you need to to get the job done and uh, you don't have to worry about screwing the heads up like you would uh, if you're using a standard uh, screwdriver tip style uh, sheet metal screw. Okay guys, this is your next step. Draw a magic marker line. Magic marker's fine. Somebody's gonna go, oh yeah, you put magic marker on there. Uh, doesn't matter, it's gonna, all gonna get ground off. Uh, magic marker line around everything that way and all up around here. Uh, got all these little notes all kind of penciled in on stuff. So this corner is going to be a trim out, uh, be an offset flange on here, 
and a reminder note to add three eighths of an inch that way uh, for the flange because the flange will come back here so I need that much more metal so a little note same thing here slit that slit that yada yada same old shit uh, no problem drawing on stuff with magic marker um, yeah it's gonna you're gonna grind it off sand it off sand it down whatever anyway it's gonna be gone it's not gonna fuck up your paint job uh, yeah so that goes all the way through that way and yeah up into here add an extra screw so when I cut the, all the the rotted out and everything will be all cut out around leave the screw detail so I have something to these are permanent reference points like I mentioned earlier so there's three permanent points where I can shove a screw in anytime Fan, panel fits exactly in the same spot and that's what's important in doing something like this now back here this is all just going to get welded in and all the way along here just push that in the corner she's going to get welded in grind it off a little abc filler along the edge and it's going to be great magic marker line shows where the patch is going in uh, i'm going to cut and relieve about three eighths maybe half inch along here this is the probably the worst area that there is right here good metal in here no problem so i'm going to come across Leave my screw hole, keep going through just under the door, maybe an inch under there. And pass on by, get rid of all of this, uh, you know, along here. This is good metal. There's no point in cutting away good metal. This is going to lap and weld in around what is still here. That's what this type of a panel is designed to do. So I'm going to go come across under my screw hole and you now I said before these are points of reference and as you cut them out they'll be there every time you need them. Shove the screw in and it's good. And I come through under the sill here uh, past where I checked it out up to here cut back cut measure three eighths of an inch about maybe a quarter uh, and cut that away. That's the deal. Okay, so for the time being, I'm not looking for anything fancy. We just kind of chopped it away. Okay, there's the spot behind the door. I gotta get that down to there. So if you don't have one of these, um, I really don't know what to tell you. You're just gonna have to like work away at it. But I'm gonna take the air saw and just cut that off and like that. Okay guys, this has gotten a little out of hand. I didn't realize the uh, the inner was in as bad a shape as it is. Uh, best thing to do here is clean up all the bits that I can with the air chisel and the grinder. Mount the outer rocker in where I plan to. I just called the supply shop. The inner rocker is like 200 bucks. Um, that's fucking ridiculous. The outer slipovers are only like 35 bucks each, so fuck that shit. Okay, guys, everything fitted up. I think things are good. I had to relocate the screw over a little bit. That hole kind of um, got. To, stripped out. Now I'm going to get uh, a screwdriver out to help hold these into position. Uh, I got the MIG welder out, ground on. I disconnected the battery from the truck. Uh, I'll set up, run a C25 gas. I got 30 thou wire spooled up here right now. I do have a box of 23 but I'm trying to use up this 30. I just got this welder. Alright, so that's all tacked in. 
Tomorrow I'm going to finish welding these seams. I'm going to put a, a weld about every quarter of an inch all the way along. That'll hold it in place uh, without any problem whatsoever. Grind it off and put a skim of ABC Glass Plus on there. Okay, got um, some plug welds in there. This is all that was left of the front. The rest of it all blew away. And I got that going on back there. It's hooked up. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so got the other side all, all in. Had the same situation with the inner rocker basically left. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm more concerned that when I open the door, I don't see a big rotted hole. Uh, like I mentioned in the intro, this is going to be a hack and pack style. So when you get around to these cab corners, we're just going to do something completely offside. Okay, so ground that all out with the angle grinder and a flap disc. And then you can see there's some sanding marks there. 80 grit on the DA. Quick pass over. I want stuff to stick. Now I'm going to change up. I'm going to pull the flap disc off, throw a wire wheel on, and hit all this black area where the welds are. Get that black weld black out of there. Um, and then I'll rinse it all down with some uh, some lacquer thinners. Get it all nice and clean. And then just put some ABC fiberglass uh, filler on that. Okay, so all the seams have a coat of glass plus on them. Uh, I'm going to hit that with uh, 80 grit on the DA and I'm going to DA the entire panel. Uh, wipe it off and hit it with some self etch primer because it's uh, probably going to be a few days before I get back to this.